How are you? Good morning, children. Welcome you all to the maths class. So, children, in our today's maths class, we are going to solve concept check 9. Alright, from chapter 9, more subtraction. Clear? So, basically, children, what we learn under more subtraction? Yes, as I have already told you, we solve sums based on comparison situations. Yes, comparison situations. We get some, we already saw some, this is based on comparison situations. And what are the two concepts, what are the two methods we learn under more subtraction to solve comparison situation problem? That is subtraction. By drawing lines. Alright. Next. Another method. Subtraction by drawing dots. Okay. These are the two methods we learn and we solve the word problems also. Yes. Now, by using one of the method, today we will do concept check 90. And there are three word problems are there. Okay, based on comparison situation. So that we are going to discuss. Okay. So, you, we, we learned these two methods in our previous class. We know now how to do subtraction by drawing lines and how to do subtraction by drawing dots. So basically in comparison situation, what type of questions we get at last? Who has more and how many more? Yes, how many more? Who has more? We compare. Then to find out how many more, what we do? We do subtraction. We do subtraction. And that subtraction we show it by using the methods drawing by lines and drawing by dots. Okay children? Yes? So, every one of you refer your textbook page number 180. Concept check 9A. By using one of the matter, we are going to solve the what problems. Yes? And the what problems are based on what comparison situation. Okay, children? Yes? So, let's discuss. This is question number 1, concept check 9A. Page number 180. Okay? So, what is given in the question? On Christmas, Radha lights 19 candles and Shivam lights 7 candles. Who lights more candles and how many more? So the first two light is this information given to us. From this information, what we have to find out? Who lights more candles and how many more? And this question, we are going to solve it by using one of the methods that we learn. Okay? So in Christmas, on Christmas, Radha lights 19 candles and Shivam lights 7 candles. First question is, who lights more candles? So to find out this, what we are going to do? First, we are going to compare the numbers. Okay, we will compare both the numbers. So, Radha lights equal to 19 candles. Okay? And Shibam lights equal to 7 candles. Yes? Now to find out who lights more candles, 
Let's compare these two numbers. When we compare these two, we find that 19 is greater than 7. That means who lights more candle? Who lights more candles? Radha. So Radha lights more candles. We got the answer. Now, second part of the question is how many more? So to find out this how many more Radha lights candles than Shiva, we have to do what? We have to do subtraction. And we will use the methods subtraction by drawing dots. Alright. So, let's draw the dots. I am drawing dots representing 19 candles. These are the 19 dots representing 19 candles. Okay. Now, from these 19 dots or 19 candles, we are going to cross out 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Now, see how many dots I have not crossed. Let's count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So, how many dots I have not crossed? 12 dots. Yes? 12 dots representing 12 candles. That means what? When we write in subtraction form, 90 minus 7 equal to 12. Yes? So, who lights more candles? Radha lights more candles. How many more? Radha lights. How many more? See the dots? Radha lights 12 more candles. Then Shriva. Okay, so who lights more candles? Radha lights more candles. How many more? By doing subtraction, we get that difference is 12. So Radha lights 12 more candles than Shiva. Clear, yeah, children? Yes, so this question is based on what comparison situation. Alright, and we have solved it by doing subtraction. And the methods we use, drawing dots. Alright? So, two questions. Who likes more and how many more? Radha likes more. How many more? Twelve more candles than Shiva. Yeah? Yes? So, let us take that question number two. Okay, I will explain question number two. Then three, you do it at home. Three is your homework. You practice it. Okay, children? Yeah? So, this way we have to do. So, now let us take question number two. Question number two. Children, see here what is given. Raghubir collects 18 stamps. Raghubir, one boy, he collects 18 stamps. His friend, Tanvir, collects 6 stamps. This is the information given. Now, what we need to find out? Who collects more stamps? Raghubir or Tanvi? And how many more? So, same like question number one. Okay? So, first we will write Raghubir collects equal to how many stamps? 18 stamps. And his friend, Tanvi. Tanvi collects what? Equal to 
six stamps. Six stamps. This is the information given. Now what we need to find out who collects more stamps. And to find out who collect more stamps, we have to compare both the numbers, 18 and 6. When we compare these two numbers, we find that 18 is greater than 6. That means what? Who collects more stamps? Ragubi. When we observe both the number, after that when we compare, we find that 18 is greater than 6. Why? One more way. 18 is a two-digit number. 6 is a single digit number. Yes, so 18 is greater than 6. B. Well, we got the answer of first question. Raghubir collects more stems. Now the second part. How many more? To find out how many more, what we have to do? We have to subtract this two number. Yes, and we will show it by using one of the matter. So here also we will do what? Subtraction by drawing dots. These are the dots representing number of steps. So see here, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. These 18 dots representing 18 steps. Now from this, we are going to cross out 6 dots, 6 steps. We will subtract 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, who collects? Tanvir collects. Now, how many more stamps Raghubir collects? See, how many dots I have not crossed out? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That means in subtraction from 18 minus 6 equal to 12. So, how many more stamps? Raghubir collects then Tanvir after drawing, after representing numbers by drawing dots and after writing in a subtraction form, we get the difference as 12. So, Raghubir Raghubir collects 12 more stamps than Tanvi. Tanvi. Okay, children? Yes? So, we, we have done what problems we have solved, what problems based on comparison situations. Yes, by using the methods subtraction by drawing dots. Clear? Yeah? So these are the two questions I have explained. Question number one and question number two. Yes? I have show you, shown you how to do solve the problem. Yes? Question number one I have explained. This is question number two. So all of you after watching the video kindly complete this. And number three. You do it. This is your homework. Question number three. If you find any difficulties to solve, you ask me in the next class. Okay, children? Yes? So, what, what are the two concepts we learned? Subtraction by drawing dots and subtraction by drawing lines. That we learned, the two methods. And whatever concept we learn, we use this in this what problem? We try to solve it. Yeah. So, page number 119, school to home connect. That one you complete at home. And as a classwork, you complete this. Okay, children? So, thank you.